Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, so, really quickly before I start the review, I would like to tell you guys about a good friend of mine named Ghetto Gypsy. Uh, he actually opened up a second account, and uh, he's going to be doing some Marvel Legends reviews. More specifically, he's going to be doing some custom Marvel Legends reviews. Paid a lot of money for the custom figures he has, and now he's going to be reviewing them. Uh, along with some other figures, uh, you know, earlier series figures, lots of uh, cool stuff. So make sure to check out Mr. Canadian Gypsy. Link will be in the underbar, and uh, make sure to subscribe to him, check out his stuff, and tell him I sent you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sentry Productions, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Iron Man Legends War Machine figure. So, um, this is the Iron Man Legends series uh, War Machine. Now, this guy, we all know this guy came as a Walmart exclusive way back when uh, Iron Man 2 came out. Uh, and he was a Walmart exclusive. He was really hard to get a hold of. Well, I actually got th that one. And then uh, this one right here is the exact same figure, re-released. Um, in the Iron Man Legends series, this is the same series as uh, the Titanium Man that you might be seeing a lot of reviews of. That green Titanium Man, same series, so they re-released this guy. So I figured, hell, I'll, I'll review this one. So, you know, I never got a chance to review the original one, so, you know, this is a really amazing figure, and it's definitely one of my favorite figures of the last year. Uh, the detail on this guy is just unbelievable. And the articulation on them, it just functions so well. The sculpt is amazing. Um, and they hide the articulation very nicely. And I really like that when the articulation's there and they hide it. Uh, in some cases, I don't. But very well put together figure. Lots of accessories, lots of posability, and lots of displays that you could uh, muster up with this guy. Very cool. So this is how I usually display mine. Uh, he, uh, he comes with several different sets of hands. I usually display mine either with the closed fists or the open palms because the closed fists don't show... well they do show the repulsor a little bit as you can see right there but I like to, uh, to show the repulsor in his palm just because of that one scene at the end where they uh, did the double repulsor thing, you know what I'm talking about. Unless you're in Sweden, where you didn't get to see Iron Man 2. Actually, if you're in Sweden, it's probably just getting released right now, so go to the movies, guys, in Sweden and watch Iron Man 2. Uh, anyways, so yeah, this is usually how I would display mine. I don't recall, I might be really wrong, but I don't recall seeing this in the movie, this little rocket launcher thing right here. But you can't take it off, you cannot take off, well, you could take off this thing, I guess, um, like that. Uh, and slip it right back in like that but you're not going to want to take this thing off because that's really cool and the articulation on this little his little Gatlin gun is actually pretty well done but you can't take off his little rocket launcher thing and you could, if I could show you guys what it looks like it's, it's kind of nicely painted I don't really look, this silver is kind of kind of seems a little bit sloppy but uh, I like the silver. It meshes with this kind of darkish black, this this grayish black, very well. It's not a really a, a really dark black. It's kind of like a grayish black with, and you can see there's um some really nice overtones on this this uh, this paint. And there's some you know you can see it's a little glossy, and it's just kind of like this charcoal gray uh, finish with this really like dirty silver. I actually really like it. It looks really sick, really cool really like the paint application it's so nice and you can see even even on the the pieces of articulation you still see they still sculpted on little rivets just to make it that much more detailed especially for this ball joint if you could see the stripe where it the articulation is actually turning it's got sculpt on there it's actually sculpted to make it look like the piece of the suit right, here's a better example that's amazing, man. That's the first thing. That's the first time I've ever seen that. That and the Mark Six. It's really amazing. You can even see it's kind of sculpted underneath there. It's got little like rivets on the ball joint underneath it. Amazing. That's it's awesome. Anyways, um, so yeah, like I said, this thing comes off and it comes with this little piece. And what you can do is, if you don't want to have that peg hole exposed, this piece fits right over it and it just matches up with the other side to make it look like it never even existed. You would never know looking at it that that was right there. Um, anyways, let's go through some of the articulation. 
Um, looks just like the guy in the movie. The, the head does move. I mean, look at the head sculpt first off. That's amazing. Looks just like it in the movie. Very nicely sculpted. It's really amazing. I like to, to think of these guys as the, the Marvel movie masters. Um, just for the fact that they actually are a little bit smaller than your normal figure. For instance, I got um, a uh, face-off cap right here with me. Um, so you can see face-off cap is a little bit taller than him, and it should not be like that. If there is a man in that suit, it should be twice as big as... Well, not twice as big, but it should be a lot bigger. I have to be under the impression that there is a guy inside that suit underneath all that metal. So that just does not... It, the scale's just off. It's really off. And, and if you disagree, I, I would say think again, because... It, the scale is really off on this guy. But you can blend him into a display, no problem. I mean, it, it's no difficulty doing that at all. But, yeah, the scale's really off. Anyways, the head goes front and back, side to side. It's on like a ball joint type of thing. These little shoulder pads, they only go up and down. You can see you got some of the little markings, just like in the movie. Um, you know, some guy named Ed made this, of course. I'm just kidding, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, those go up and down. It doesn't really hinder too much the articulation unless you want the arm to go all the way up, uh, which I don't know what pose that would be unless he's like breakdancing or something. But uh, yeah, all the posability, all the articulation still there, up, down, front, back, upward bicep swivel, more sculpting right there, uh, more rivets on the inside of that articulation, um, double jointed elbows, and then we got more of his guns right down here that are sculpted onto the side of his arm. It's, it's really amazing. The hand does do a 360 degree turn. Depends on which hand you're using. And this little flap does go up and down. So yeah, two points of articulation at the elbow, by the way, too. And then my favorite part, my favorite piece of articulation on this entire guy is the waist joint. It's kind of got this swivel thing going on. And for in some cases, that piece of articulation doesn't really work well with some figures. But this one, it works perfectly with. It really depends. Uh, you know, an articulation on a figure can seem like it's really cool, but sometimes it just the functionality of it with the figure, when the two are combined, just doesn't work. And then sometimes you get the cases where you might see a piece of articulation you don't like, uh, but it works way better with that figure. So keep that in mind when you're, uh, you know, checking out action figures. So yeah, uh, very cool piece of articulation. No waist articulation. Like I say, he's got the ball joint, goes up and down side to side. It's got the swivel there as well. Um, and then here's another uh, example of how they hid the articulation. You can see how when you line it up doesn't look like much but you can see the articulation when you bend it down and then there's a, an extra knee pad down there. Very sick. I love how that lines up perfectly. And then the foot has like some weird articulation where it doesn't really go that far down or up, but it does go side to side. Really quickly, I would like to show you guys the, some of the accessories he comes with. You get this little this little ammo strip, which you would plug into here, and I'm guessing plug into the back right here. Doesn't work too well though, as you can see, because it doesn't bend correctly, unless you have it like this. I guess. But there's two little slots to where you would turn it, but doesn't quite make it. I guess kind of, if you're lucky. Kind of makes it. He also comes with two extra sets of hands. I'm not going to put them on, but he does come with the open palms, the closed fists, and then the jerk-off hands. So, yeah, those are the extra ones. You can see even got this little yellow piece. So yeah, man, that's the Iron Man Legends War Machine. So check that out, and uh, check out Mr. Canadian Gypsy. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.